Hi everyone and welcome back to our short videos on adding website or web page counters uh, to your Google site. And the last time we looked at uh, Google Analytics that we can turn on, this time we're going to look at a, a free service, there's a number of them, that where I can uh, install a counter onto a page uh, or to a site. There are a lot of them on the web. We're going to put this on our little sandbox and show you how to set that up. All right. So. Let's go to this particular free service called Stat Counter. You log in and create an account. You can see I have a few counters here already. Let's walk through the process of creating a counter real quick. So we're going to look down here and add another project. All these sites are pretty much the same. Just have to look for them. We need the URL of the site that we're going to use. So let's go back to this. Here's the home page. So we're going to monitor people hitting the home page. I'm going to copy that URL and I'm going to paste it right there. And the project title, we'll just call this Tony's uh, Sample Counter. Just in case I want to delete that, which I probably will a bit later on. I'll just leave the group blank. County, here we go. Central time, that looks good. If I want to make my stats public, I can check here. For right now, I'm just going to keep them to myself. And if I look over on the right hand side, I can actually create a little counter or a button. And let's take a look at that a little visible counter. I'm going to go customize. And yeah, let's uh, pick a different color here just for fun. That's a nice blue or purple or whatever we want. Click away from that. What size? I'm just going to go with the largest. And I can even start my counter at a particular number if I had a counter before. So it started at zero. And you do have a couple of options there. Let's click done. Do you want some sort of an email report? You could set that up very quickly. I'm going to set up none. And add the project. Well, it's all done. Now all I need to do is to install the uh, embed code. And here you have a number of different websites guides here. So I'm going to go find mine. Here's uh, Google Sites. And here is the code that we're going to be using. I also have other videos on embed codes, but we'll walk through this. I'm going to highlight and copy that and return back to my sandbox site. So I'm going to use that code here, first of all, on the home page. So I'm going to edit the home page. You can see my cursor is blinking there. I want that counter to appear at the very bottom of my page. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the HTML source code editor. And don't be bothered by this. It's just a lot of uh, HTML source code. I'm going to go to the very bottom of the page and paste that counter. Click on update. Save my page. And if I scroll down, I should see a little counter on that page in terms of the number of hits for that page. Now, when they leave that page, they won't see that. But if you'd like to leave a counter available for everybody to see, then you can put something on your navigation bar if you'd like. Now, to do that, I'm going to be using a text box style for that. So let's walk through that real quick if you'd like to put it on a navigation bar. I'm going to click on More, and I'm going to go to Edit Site Layout. And when I go to edit site layout, and I have other videos on this, of course, but here's my sidebar and a little plus. I'm going to click on the plus, and I'm going to add a new sidebar item. And there's a text. I'm going to add that. And if you scroll down, it usually appears at the very bottom, sort of hidden. There it is. It popped up. And if I click on it, I can edit that. Now I'm going to be looking for the HTML editor again and I'm going to paste it in there and click update and it will appear I can even add more text or whatever I like to that but I'm just going to use that click OK if I scroll down now I'm going to see a counter over here on the right I better close that there we go so now we've added that counter to our site I can also go back to this system, and I'm going to go back to my projects. 
and I can create more projects by adding an individual page here if I wanted to. Well, that's it. Pretty simple to do. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.